Hello, everybody. Rob Clues, Z Track Distribution here. It is January 1st, 2024. So, hey, Happy New Year, everybody. And look, I am uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited here. We're going to kick off the year on a really high note for American Z Line. What are we talking about? Well, AZL has announced that they were going to do Ortners, uh, 40 foot Ortner cars. What we really kind of alluded to, but not really, is they're here. And we're kicking off January, we're kicking off 2024 with this release. So let's talk about these cars. So you'll see them up here on the test track. Uh, the first release is gonna be CSX. These cars are, for, again, 40 foot Ortners. They were used for aggregate, gravel, sand, basically very heavy materials they're used for. They're still in use today. You know, I see them all the time. I, you know, kind of anecdotal stories. I drive a lot between Columbus and Pittsburgh and there's these blue Gaddex uh, ordners that are being used for gravel and, and aggregates that are used in the fracking industry. I see these all the time. Fortunately, too, I know AZL is actually going to make those cars, so I'm pretty excited about getting those. But yeah, they're still in use today. They also were used by a lot of the Fallen Flags. Southern Pacific is one. Chessie, you know, it's a cat. You know, that's all those out there. These cars have a long, interesting history. So here we are. The first release is, again, CSX. Um, let me show you a little bit of detail on these cars, okay? So we're going to bring one in here. Interesting silver. So obviously we've got this beautiful silver car. Amazing printing. The yellow CSX. Really neat, nicely done on the car. Nice, and I'll pull it, show you that. Nice gravel load on top you know, in the car, notice the yellow lines, you know, that's so the load operators could get a good idea between the side of the cars and where the gravel goes. So nice detail AZL put on. One thing we're going to talk about that's a little different on these cars is AZL decided to do a first time ever body mount coupler. So let's look at those right there. You're going to see it right there. Kind of a neat detail. Very different design for AZL. By the way, we're under here. Take a look at all this nice detail on those shoots and hatches, man. That's amazing, okay? Just amazing. Move my thumb here so you can see them. These are small cars. Um, why am I calling out the, the body mount couplers? These cars are rated at 195 millimeters. So even though they're a small car, they're going to need at least 195 millimeter curve to operate because of those body mounts reliably. Now, if you're running these and want to run them on tighter, I do believe you could actually remove that coupler box. It's going to take a little bit of effort to shave that off and replace that truck with standard AZL 90001 truck mounted coupler, uh, you know, truck with coupler mounted so you can do some more swing on that. But let's go back and look again. Look at the top of that gravel. I want to call this out too. Why? Well, AZL just didn't model the cars. They modeled the car interiors. So one... These loads are very easy to remove. And you can run these cars open or with the load in them. Kind of a nice detail. The other thing I want to call is a lot of times you see loads that look really plastic. This load has a very nice matte finish, good detail with the aggregate, the gravel on this one. These are not just you know plastic loads. I mean, you'll see them plastic here, but they're painted. So that extra application of paint removes that plastic shine, gives you a much more realistic look on the load. And you'll see how they actually are notched slightly here so they can fit into the grooves of the car. So a, a kind of a kind of neat idea. We can run these cars. Think about this, maybe a loadout area where you have a bunch of open ordners and some that have already been loaded. So kind of a neat detail that you can run these open or closed. So as we keep looking back at this set here, we're talking about in front of us, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be releasing. So these cars typically ran in unit trains. So we're talking, you know, multiple car combinations. Because of that, AZL is actually going to be running, you know, offering these cars in four packs and two packs. So as you'll see a little bit below, you'll see a box, our standard AZL, kind of blue and yellow box that shows a four pack of cars, a four pack color package. And then I'm showing you the two cars from the two pack. Now, if you are astute here and you're looking at this train, You'll notice something else I'm just going to kind of call out here. Notice the CSX SD40. Why am I calling that one out right now? It's also a January 1st release. This will be the third SD40 release that's being done by AZL. We purposely chose to release this engine at the same time with these cars because the paint schemes really work well together. They represent 
kind of a period piece of the CSX engine in the bright future with these silver CSX cars with the yellow. Will other CSX Ortners come out with maybe different paint schemes? You know, time will tell, hint, hint. But at least for right now, we do have this first one coming out right now. So there we are, folks. It is January 1st, 2024. If you're watching this video, Happy New Year. If you're watching this video, you know, months later, well, I hope you've had a good New Year so far. Um, these cards are going to be available for order immediately. We're going to be getting them out to our dealers here in pricing. We have a whole series of cars to come out with the orders to look for a lot of different road names, you know, and a lot of printing and, uh, yeah, just, just amazing details on these cars. So look for a lot more coming out here in the next year. So again, Rob Clues Z-Track Distribution introducing you to our AZL's latest car, the 40 foot Ortners and a little sneak peek at a CSX SD40 available in January, 2024. Thanks everyone.